It's dry in southwest Oklahoma and I ain't had time to go fishing and there ain't many fish in the pond no more. I promise you dry as it is. It's is so dry here that catfish got ticks on them. That's how dry it is. So I went and found me some good catfish fillets at the store, but sometimes I get tired of having it fried. We're gonna grill it. Now grilling catfish, because it is a white flaky fish like it is, there is no skin on there, it is very easy for it to stick to the grill and tear all up, I promise you. But I think I've got a little deal that's going to help you out with that today, so let's get to it. we got two catfish fillets that are three-fourths of the way thawed out. That is a helper when you get to that hot grill. One egg. I hear you out there talking, I thought you wasn't going to frown. Well folks, that there cackleberry is going to help things from sticking on the grill quite so bad. So let's see, can we whisk him in this square oblong bowl? And next we're going to add to that something a little different. About three-fourths of a cup of Catalina dressing. And I will tell you, we have preheated the grill to it's what you call hell for hot. And you have to have a hot grill if you're going to grill some fish. But make sure you get the egg and the Catalina incorporated well. We're going to take them little fillets. We're going to coat them really well in that dressing that's got that one cackleberry in there with it. It's going to help give it a good zingy little flavor, I promise you. Just lay them right back over here on this deal. And if you want to do this a little ahead of time with that half thawed fish, put her in here and let her soak a little bit. It'll even help that flavor more. This is what I love to put on some fish, especially if it's like a farm pond fish caught out of fresh water like it is. Red River Ranch Mesquite. And don't be afraid to season generously. I like to do a little patent deal here on it. Turn it over, we're going to season the other side. While that is sitting there, folks, what we're going to do, we're going to venture right over here at the grill if Shan will go with us. Whew. It says it is at about 478 degrees. Hardwood lump mesquite today. Make sure that it is really clean and really hot. How do you know how hot? If you can hold your hand there for more than five seconds, it ain't hot enough, I promise you. Now you got to lubricate it well because it really needs it. That fish is going to want to stick to that hot iron. It'll try to jump back in the can with you, so watch out what you're doing, okay? When you think you got it greased well, grease it some more. Next trick for grilling fish on the grill, make sure your spatula is as close to the same size as your fishula. That way you can get him under there and get him off quick. So here goes number one. But the reason I'm cooking it over this mesquite is I love to get me some of that good mesquite flavor. So what are we going to do? I hope we're going to shut the lid. It has a mind of its own sometime. The vent is closed. I want to circulate some of that good smoke and heat around that mesquite. Now, while that is cooking and y'all wasn't here to see it, I done finally chopped me about a half a cup of pecans. You'll see why in a minute, but don't think I was being lazy while I was just sitting here. I'm looking for probably three to four minutes on each side. We've about been that long. But a trick I use too when I'm turning pancakes at the wagon, I don't want no chance of nothing sticking to nobody. And I'm going to put him right over here on this side, so I'm going to grease that side again. But shh, you got to sneak up on him. Make sure he loose everywhere. Here goes nothing. Looky there. We're going to shut the lid on them for about a minute. Lower the fire down just a tad. Look over here in this magical compartment and look what I found. A cast iron skillet with some butter on it, which goes right there, which is going to melt, we hope. While that catfish is finishing cooking, we're going to melt this three tablespoons of butter. And when it nearly gets melted, 
we're going to go ahead and pour in that half a cup of finely chopped pecans, as they say down there in Georgia. And we're going to let this come to a simmer. Now, this fish is going to be done before this is done, so we're going to slip him over here on the warm side of this on a plate here in just a minute. But you can see we got some simmering action going on and starting to take place here with that butter. You have to wait till it really gets to simmering really good. And let's take a gander at them fish. Oh, you can see it's really wanting to flake apart. Scoop them little rascals up right there. Some things is good and flaky. You want to try to fall apart, they done. <laughs> Ain't them pretty? Got them little grill marks on them? But I'll tell you something from cooking steak for a long time. Them grill marks don't make it eat no better. So we are doing some good right here, I promise you. We have come to a good rolling bowl. What we're going to do next, folks, we're going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar in there. And you'll be thinking I'm making Christmas candy, but I'm not. I'm making a glaze to go on that there catfish that we're going to eat. Not let that butter burn any. Now... There's something about roasting a little pecan in some butter and brown sugar that just makes me happy. But I'll tell you folks, something that even make me happier and gonna make that fish even happier than that is about a fourth of a cup of wild turkey American honey. Now we're gonna bring that to a bowl, let it reduce down just a little to where it sort of makes like a glaze And we don't like much. It's beginning to thicken as you can see. And watch this little deal here. That is what I call purdy, P-U-R-D-Y. They used to chastise me there on Chop Grill Masters and Chop Redemption about having presentation. This is about as presentable as I'm going to get, and I guarantee you, this is some fine eating right here. Remember the trick to grilling catfish on the grill, about three-fourths thawed out. A really, really hot grill, spray it really, really well, get you a spatula that you can actually get under the whole thing with before you turn it. I wish y'all was here, but since you ain't, I'm going to eat it in y'all's behalf. I want to thank you for stopping by the backyard again today. It has been a great pleasure. It is a great day above the grass. And from our little humble camp to yours, wherever you may be, God bless you and good day. I'm going to have some catfish. Hey, it's a happy meal. It didn't come in a sack, come in a plate. You see Ronald at the McDonald house, you tell him, come on by, I'll give him a happy meal.